Okay, today we are going to see how many meals that we can make out of, let's see, I think it's 3.15 pounds of ground beef that I paid $4.69 for. Package is, the package cost $14.77. And I just purchased it on the 10th of December. So, there it is. It's fresh ground chuck, 85% lean or better. First, I'm going to start with making two hamburgers. And there are two good sized hamburgers. So I calculate that I probably use just a tiny bit over a quarter of a pound for the two hamburgers. So we'll just say I have I used a quarter of a pound. So I have two and three quarter pounds, a little tiny bit over that, of ground beef left. So I'm going to add two eggs instead of just one. If I just had a pound of hamburger um, I, or a pound of ground beef, I would use one egg. I probably would use two starting with two pounds, obviously. So. With three pounds, I'm not going to, or almost three pounds, I'm not going to use three eggs. I would then have to use too many crackers. So with just this two and three quarters, I'm going to use two large eggs. I'm going to use a couple of squirts of, uh, probably four squirts of uh, mustard. I know that's a terrible measurement, but if you just have a um, squeeze bottle of mustard, four squirts. As far as the ketchup, probably going to go with four of the same. So we're going to go with four squirts of ketchup. And this I just shake on. This is Dutch seasoning. You can order this from any Dutch import store on the internet. We order ours from Peter's Imports out of, I think it's Granville, Michigan. But if you just put Peter's Imports, you can um, find a store in Michigan that's wonderful. It has food from all over Europe. A lot of food from um, the Netherlands, which is where my husband was born and raised. And we use this seasoning. And this seasoning you know, has mainly like cumin, a lot of, of the spices that Dutch people use in their cooking. So cumin, nutmeg, um, has celery, probably has some salt in it, has cardamom, uh, some chilies, marjoram, coriander and ginger. And it really makes uh, flavorful uh, meatloaf, meatballs. They also have seasonings for chicken and seasonings for pork that I use. Then I take half a sleeve of crackers. You can use panko breadcrumbs, uh, even uh, breadcrumbs that you've done yourself, homemade breadcrumbs, uh, really anything uh, that's crunchy, and dry that can be used as something that uh, takes away some of the moisture out of the uh, meatball mix. You don't want it, you know, really sloppy because then the meatballs will not hold together. They'll just fall apart once they're in the fry pan. So you don't want that. So take a half a sleeve. I will show you what it looks like after I crush up a half a sleeve of crackers and add them to it.